Good day everyone, I am Virgil Ira Bulfa, and today we will talk about the language of relations and functions. The relation shows the relationship between the input and output, whereas a function is a relation which drives one output for each given input. Here we have a problem. Let E is equal to set 1, 2, and 3, and f is equal to set negative 2, negative 1, and 0, and define a relation t from e to f as follows. For all ordered pair x, y, an element of e cross f, and ordered pair x, y, an element of t, means that x minus y over 3 is an integer. So what we have here is letter A is 3 t 0 or in other words is 3 related to 0. With this we just need to substitute these given numbers. We will have 3 replace our x and 0 replace our y. So it will be 3 minus 0 over 3 minus 0 is equal to 3 divided by 3 which is equal to 1. 1 is an integer meaning that it doesn't have decimals. So the answer is yes. 3 is related to 0 because it satisfied the given rule here at the top. Here. Next, we have is 1 related to negative 1? Let's find out. Just like what we did previously, we just need to substitute the given. So we will have 1 as x and negative 1 as y. Then follow the formula given. We'll have 1 minus negative 1 which is equal to 2 divided by 3 is equal to 0 0.66 or 0 0.67 which is a decimal number and not an integer. So, the answer is no. 1 is not related to negative 1. Another one. Here we have is ordered pair 2 and negative 1 element of t. So again, just substitute. We'll have 2 minus negative 1 which is 3. 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. So the answer is yes. Next, is ordered pair 3 and negative 2 element of t? Again, substitute will have 3 minus negative 2 which is equal to 5. Then divide 3. We'll have 1.666 or 1 1.67. This is again a decimal and not an integer, so the answer is no. Letter B. Write T as a set of ordered pairs. So here, we just need to pair the numbers that satisfies the given rule here. Those that resulted in integers. So we have t is equal to set of ordered pair 1 and negative 2, 2 and negative 1, 3 and 0.
Next, letter C. Write the domain and codomain of T. So we have our domain here, set of 1, 2, and 3. And our codomain, negative set of negative 2, negative 1, and 0. Next, letter D. Draw an arrow diagram for T. So we just need to make a diagram of our ordered pairs. So we have our domain here on the left and our codomain here on the right. So we have 1 and negative 2. 2 and negative 1. 3 and 0. That is all for this topic. Thank you for listening.